Good morning, everybody. I'm Isaiah Trip, and always keep in mind this Trip Talk. Okay, go subscribe today. Okay, today I want to talk about waking up and opening your eyes. Don't get caught up in the hype of your favorite rapper, your favorite football player, your favorite singer, your favorite star. And here's what I mean by that. Okay, a lot of us, and I say a lot of us, I'm including me too, because I've all I'm been I've been guilty of 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 getting caught up in the hype myself. So don't think I'm just this guy standing on this high pedestal. Okay, I'm just trying to share some knowledge with you. So don't get caught up in the hype. A lot of times we see our favorite rapper, our favorite singer, our favorite ball player, our favorite whatever. Uh, someone that we're whatever attracted to, okay? Um, and we see him with the Louis Vuitton on. We see him with the Bally's on. We see him with the Balenciagas on. We see him with the Rolex on. And we get caught up in the hype most times. It's easy to. We want that stuff. Sometimes we feel like we can get it. Sometimes we make a little bread, tax season, whatever. Okay, we feel like we can get it. So we get it. But I'm here to say, don't get caught up in the hype because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes, okay? You don't know if this rapper or singer that you're kind of uh, looking up to is actually even buying that stuff himself. There are clothing contracts at the next level. There are labels with per diems that's going to buy you stuff like jewelry at the next level to where these people are not even paying for most of what they got on. It's the clothing companies, it's the Louis Vuittons and the Bally's and the coaches that are smart, smarter than the average consumer that, hey, if I get my stuff out there on this person who has 3 million followers looking at him, what does that do for my company? It's going to bring guys like myself, the average Joe that just want to get in and want to be like their favorite rapper. So you guys are going to go out and me too, like I said, I've, we all been guilty of getting caught up in the hype. We're going to go out and spend our hard earned money on... <clears throat> on Louis Vuitton, on Balenciaga, on whatever the case may be. And we're not making sure our families are straight. So the important message here is to not get caught up in the hype of your favorite singer, favorite rapper, favorite whatever, because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. These guys are probably not even making as much money as you think. That's why in all the interviews, they're saying, oh yeah, I got this dime piece, probably like 60. This one probably like 120. I think this one 70. I think this one was a gift. Because all of it is a gift. They're not spending their money. They don't even have as much money as you think. I mean, even if they do have a lot of money, you can see that if you really pay attention and wake up and open your eyes, if you look at certain interviews and stuff, you can see these guys contradicting themselves. Oh, yeah, I make this much a year, $3 million a year, let's say, but this watch cost me 120 This watch cost me 70 I got on a pair of $2,000 shoes, and then I got all this stuff I'm showing in my videos. First of all, come on, man. You got to wake up and open your eyes because if you don't be careful, you're going to be so intrigued by all this stuff that you'll be spending money. And next thing you know, you have, you have nothing to show for. So what I'm saying is, <coughs> sorry about the cough. What I'm saying is make sure your family's straight first. Make sure your credit is straight. Make sure your finances are straight. Make sure you're taking care of the right things in life that really matters. Make sure you got some money put up for your son or your daughter. Make sure that before you buy your pair of shoes, you get your, your son or daughter some. <clears throat> Excuse me again, okay? But what I'm saying is, there's nothing wrong with having nice things. I like nice things. I have nice things, okay? But make sure before you go out and buy that nice thing, whatever the case may be, make sure you got money stashed up in case you get a flat tire. Make sure you got money stashed up in, in case you lose your job. Make sure you got money saved up so you don't live paycheck to paycheck. You can become your own boss. So what I'm saying is, there's nothing wrong with nice having nice things, but understand that that is luxury. Luxury. Stuff I can buy if I have the luxury too. If I just have some extra money that's laying around, Hey, I'll, yeah, I've gone by if I got an extra thousand dollars laying around, boom, slap it. And when you when you treat yourself, I'm not saying don't treat yourself because you should do that. But when you treat yourself, make sure everything is taken care of. So when you go out to that Louis Vuitton, that coach store, whatever the case may be, you slapping that thousand dollars on the table and you're not looking back because, you know, I can buy this backpack. I'm straight. I'm set. I'm set up. And it, it may take some time, but. That is the right thing to do, and that's what we all should be doing. We should be making sure our home is straight. Our home is straight. Our family is straight. Our finances are straight. Our credit is straight. And then we can go out and buy luxury because that's it is what it is. It's luxury. I can have it because I ain't got nothing else to do. It's just luxury. I got all my stuff taken care of. So, again, 
I preach to you guys that, hey, don't get caught up in the hype, okay? Because you never know what's going on behind the scenes. They're not even spending their money on that stuff, but you are. Because you see it and you think you know what's going on in their life, but you, in reality, you don't. That's why most celebrities don't come out in public. They they keep everything to themselves because they the only thing they want you to know is what they share with you on TV or whatever the case may be. And I'm not saying I'm a celebrity and all this type of stuff, but I've been around the media industry and I've been around and I've... I've been around, so trust me. Keep in mind, it's Trip Talk, okay? Go subscribe today. I appreciate y'all listening, and don't get caught up in the hype, man. If you got some luxury money, if you got some, if you got all your stuff taken care of, treat yourself. Yes, 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 treat yourself. Life is about, you know, living abundantly and treating yourself, but don't treat yourself if you know you ain't got all your stuff taken care of, man. Just bite the bullet, get down, and work harder, and get your stuff straight, okay? All right.